What's up everybody? G Fire Productions in the place to be Superman first class getting ready for another live sound event. Let's go. What's up everybody? I'm excited once again because today I'm going to be rocking out another live sound event and I particularly like those type of events because I get to play with more of my stuff. I just want to get into it a little bit, show you the gear set that I'm working with and then we're going to load it all up and get over to Samuel Adams Brew House on Fort Hood, Texas. Let's do it. Let's start with the bottom and uh, work our way up. The Freedom Stick Pack, two speaker poles, mic stand, accessory box, my DDJ, two top speakers. I have a desktop box, the most protected bag in America, that is my laptop bag. The subs, monitors, there's the Kraken accessory bag, 100 foot extension, 50 foot extension. For XLR cables, I have a 100 footer right here and some 50 footers. So I am here on Fort Hood now, ready to download all the gear. It is extremely hot. My camera may I not make it through the video, but if not, hey, we'll get through the night eventually. Enjoy the video. Okay, everybody, I got everything all downloaded and I'm gonna take you on a quick tour before I get it all set up. I stay hydrated, especially in the heat. I got this camera back loaded with ice water. Good to go. These right here are mostly the things that'll be heading over towards the desktop area. While I am setting up, this stuff here will remain in a shaded area under the tree. Everything else on the stage is going to be in direct sunlight. There's a stage, no overhead cover or anything like that. Um, what I will do is run all the cables first, and then I'll take the speakers out the bag. Once I put the uh, two main speakers on top of the subwoofer poles, I will probably put those covers on the speaker just to uh, protect them a little bit. There's two subs. I got the Kraken. This is one of the first things I'm going to move. K8.2s for stage wedges and the K12.2s for mains. Here's the rest of the cables. All right, so while I'm taking a little breather here and uh, drinking on some water, as I said, stay hydrated, that's a must. I'm gonna show you guys my cable run. Now, the way I run these cables, it's for not only uh, easy management, but it's also for ease of recovery. I have to get sound to that subwoofer independently from that stage monitor independently from that main top speakers so there's the main sound the sound for the monitor and here is a jumper wire over to the other monitor and over here in front of the subwoofer is the ins and out for the subs so I have an in right here and an out that jumps from this subwoofer over to the other subwoofer. I built subwoofer packs so pretty much two uh, main power cables for both the wedge and the main speaker and then a short jumper cable to power the subwoofer. Here's the other side of the stage. So there's my input cable on the ground here that is coming from the other subwoofer. Here is my main right speaker. And then of course on the stage, just like the other end, I have the jumper in to the back of this monitor. So the rest of the cable runs, I'll have pretty much just what I need at the subwoofers and all the speakers. Any excess coming from that way, tuck it right down the side of the stage. Once I get all the cables inputted into the Kraken, I'm gonna group all the cables and make sure they align right down this edge here and meet at the stage. And any excess, I'm gonna go back that way. That is my monitor cable. So I did this so I won't forget. And then here on this end, they are laid out as main left, sub out, main right. Just that simple. Definitely easy to recover. So what I'm going to do now that I'm over here is get this cable reel and I'm going to run power to the Kraken. The Kraken is going to power the DDJ and pretty much everything else inside the Kraken box. got everything all set up it's starting to cool down a little bit so that's always a good thing but let me show you guys what I'm working with first on the desktop then we're gonna go take it over to the stage my desktop box so this is where I keep the microphones for now let me get you a look inside uh, sometimes I have extra velcros all kind of cables there's the iPad case microphone cases flashlight extra aux cables BNC cables power strip extra mic clip got some gaff tape and an extra handheld microphone as a just in case Here's the Kraken, two of the four microphones in use at the moment. Main left and right out here, sub out and monitor out there. The four microphones plugged in, two of the four are actually in use. There's my antennas all set to go with the router. A main power source comes in 
for the Kraken. And it powers everything inside the box. And of course, the DDJ is also routed into the side plug in there too. Um, I usually have a wireless microphone here, but today I have four microphones in the Kraken, so that mic is not needed. The MacBook Pro hyperdrive, my USB-C power in, but also allows me to have a USB for Serato here, so I'm powering up the iPad. And I got an auxiliary cable in case I start iTunes as a backup. Got the DDJ underneath right here, so there it is. Because I'm working with the DDJ, I just kind of put my house music right there since it's convenient. So all of the cables, which is uh, right here at the moment, they're going neatly right here because we're going to have people coming across this. So I don't want any trip hazards when they come check out HEV. Cables, they're pretty much at the speakers, uh, just where I need them to be. Um, and no extra slack that way. So when it's time to recover it, everything comes like really taut across the front of the stage and they turn around this corner and come this way. Now some of these cables, they'll go uh, again this way and loop around and go into the desktop. Here's uh, two monitors going on, one here, one here. So actually what I did with the monitor and the subwoofer, I actually jumped from those two over here to these two. And then of course the main right speaker, we're behind it, but this is the main right, has its own individual input from the mixer, and so does the main left speaker, has its own input. We're always trying to keep everything nice and neat. Now, half of the system is powered by a generator outside the fence, so we didn't want it in here because it's making its own noise, but this setup here, over here, pretty much all of that is powered outside in the generator, and so we don't put too much pull on the generator. I uh, have the other system, which is powering the desktop, running that way all the way down to building itself we didn't want no trip hazard so we put some gaff tape down right here and then we just continue the cable run right down there right into the building but this is what everybody else see at the moment nice clean stage look i still got a little bit of cleaning up to do the event has not started officially so there's the back got the cover on you don't see all my mess but here's how it works in the back of here so everything's nice and tidy back there. So if I have to do any troubleshooting, I can easily see what's going on. Everything I need to have power on the desktop has power. And uh, got an extra one of these just in case. Here's I'm gonna push this just a little bit closer. So that gap is uh, looking a lot cleaner. Here's my laptop bag. Simple things like this can be put away. And so yeah, we got a little bit of more house cleaning to do, but let me go ahead and do that. Party people, the finished product, they're all cleaned up, got everything buttoned nice and neat. Now it is hot out here today, so it's part of customer service. We put the mic stand under here. We don't want the uh, performer to be touching on a hot microphone stand. There's my mic to talk to the stage, so if I need to ask or say anything to the musician there, that mic is going in the monitors, as well as uh, being able to make announcements. So there we go, there we go, there. Cracking. Got lighting control right here. I don't have any lights up just yet. It is still pretty hot, so I'll break those out as it cools off and it gets a little bit darker. There's the DDJ. I have two methods to control the mix today. One is uh, on the iPad here. You can't really see that that much, but I have XR Edit up. And in the background here, I also have XR Edit going on. So there it is. And to play the music for the musician, I got DJ2 already up, fired, ready to go. And as a backup, I got the musician's music on uh, DJ2 right here. And for front of house sound, we got two subwoofers and two tops. All right, party people, good energy, good vibes. We're set up, music is gone, people are here showing up. Definitely waiting on Leo to come and do his thing. I'm excited about that. We got to talk and collaborate and make sure he all straight. So catch you guys later in the video. Let's get it.
Okay, party people in the house. Let's give it up one more time for Mr. Leo. I'm Gerald, your DJ sound guy. G5 Productions in the place to be. Hope you enjoyed the music. Y'all have a good night. All right, party people, that was fun. Now I told Norma, I'm gonna break this sound down in 45 minutes or less. So I have a couple of preliminary things that I do. One is I'm going to save the scene for tonight. I'm gonna go and cut off all of the uh, speakers because I don't want that pop sound when I shut the system down. So Norma says it's 907, let's get it. Okay, so I'm breaking down the desktop. Saved our scene right here already. Shutting down all of the programs. While that's shutting down, I'm also go ahead and close in the iPad here. Get all my stuff thingies together. I'm completely shutting down the MacBook. Just turn down the volume on the DDJ. All right, the MacBook is shut down. Oh, I am unplugging things. Just put the MacBook in its sleeve in the backpack. But right, I just unplugged the DDJ. Removing all the audio cables. I just unplugged the iPhone, close out the app, iPad store, microphone store. Just recovered the master uh, power cable for the cracking. Antennas are down, flare kind stored, and the router's also down in its stored position. Got a side port cover for the cracking. Oh, I have the original power cable for the DDJ and two sound cables I'm unplugging. Slide the tray forward, front slide cover right there. Top for the cracking, top for the DDJ. So to catch you up, I struck most of the desktop so far and then I went over to the stage and took some stuff down because I had to download all the pictures and videos from the phone so I could keep recording. But let's finish off this desktop, shall we? What I'm doing now is recovering the uh, power cable that went to the crack. Just recovered two of the 50 foot extension cables and uh, here's a third one on the reel and now I gotta get the other one from right there. I'm over here, I'm gonna go ahead and bag up the uh, subwoofer. Okay party people, I got about two minutes to load this car up. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, so I didn't do it in two minutes. It was more like 319, but I still beat my goal of getting out of here. About 45 minutes, broke down the entire live sound rig. Peace. <laughs>